Hey guys, so I just wanted to do like a vlog type video today because I recently ordered from ColourPop twice and it was the first time I ordered it, it was my first time and then they had a sale that was 20% off so I ordered more um, and I just want to show you guys like what I got and try them on for you. So, second vlog, I guess. But, um, I'll just do like a quick overview on what I bought. Um, some of it I did wear. So, obviously, those are open. Um, but I do have a brow, like an eye, eyebrow thing that I haven't worn yet that I don't want to open because it dries it out. So I'm not going to open that one yet, but one of them I have used, um, that's the redhead one, which is on my eyebrows right now. So I'm going to show you guys first what I got and then I'll try them on. These are the two brow colors. This one is in redhead and this one is in Bang & Brunette. By the way, don't mind my finger. Um, my allergies acted up earlier and I kind of rubbed my eye, so my hand is a little black for my eyeliner. These are two of the eyeliners. This one is in Swerve, which is a black, and this one is in Teaspoon, which is a green. And then from here all the way to here are matte lip creams. And these are four lip liners that I bought. So this first one that I have here is Trap. So I'm just gonna put this on my lips and show you guys. It's described as a dusty grayed out beige. This is what Trap looks like. Um, they do also dry quicker than normal. These I'd say dry in probably like 20 to 30 seconds are only $6 so they're pretty affordable. Um, and with ColourPop, your first purchase that you get when you sign up for their newsletter, you get $5 off. So that's basically like something free because their prices are so affordable. This next one that I have is Cheap Thrills and this one is described as a dusty lilac. Another thing that I will say too is one like coat of this is definitely enough. Like you can see this is only one coat and it covers it pretty well. This is what Cheap Thrills looks like. And then this next one is Lumiere 2 which is Kathleen Lights. I tried this on my lips yet so we're going to see how it looks. So this is like a first impressions for both of us. I don't even know if I'm in camera trying these on because I keep going like over here. color I actually really do like though. Next one is called Kapow. Described as a muted gray taupe. Do you see how pretty this is? And this next one that I'm gonna try on is R&B and it's described as a rich mauve plum. This one I actually haven't tried on my lips either. I'm being so bad at applying these because I just want this video to be done. So this is what RMB looks like. This next one is Tool or Thule. I'm not very sure on like how to say it. I've been seeing Tool whenever I tell people, but I'm not exactly sure 
which one it is, but this one is described as a dusty mauve burgundy. And then this next one that I have is Avenue. And on the website, it is described as a deep yellow red. This one I actually haven't tried on my lips either. I don't know. I like this one. I don't know if it would be like an everyday type of color. Last one here that I have is LAX and this one is described as a vampy black and red and this is the one that reminded me of the Ulta one. Um, I can't remember the name of it right now. I can't remember the name of it right now but I'll have it somewhere on the screen right now. Let me wait till this one dries, just because for me it looks like it's kind of patchy. So I'm gonna wait for it to completely dry and then look. But I don't know, this one I feel like I might need two coats on because it just it looks patchy to me. Okay, after two coats I feel like it's not patchy. But with this one, definitely on my lips, I have to use two coats. It does remind me of the Ulta matte lip cream that I had so that's a plus because I really did like that color for the fall time that is all that I'm gonna show you today which basically was all the matte lip creams that I had bought